Hello everyone, uh, this is Shakti Devi, uh, aka Dr. Rose Wilkerson, and I, today I'm doing a video, a better demonstration of how to do Tarpanam at home. Um, I wanted to do that because there was something that was missing in the video that I had uploaded last week, so I wanted to make sure it was very clear as to what you do for Tarpanam. So remember, Tarpanam is ancestor offerings, and you want to do that on a daily basis. And so what you can see here is, uh, first of all, I have uh, the ingredients for tarpana. You can see the grass in there, that's the darba grass. You see rice, and then all, which is the white color, right? And then you, there's also um, black sesame seed. So the rice could actually be rice flour. You can uh, definitely do that, or you could just do raw rice or uncooked rice. Okay, so that's my, uh, these are the ingredients. And then uh, you see here that there's a coin. So we're also supposed to use a coin, put that at the um, base of our palm, as you'll see in the, in the demonstration that I'll do in just a moment. So I have a coin here. This is a dime here in US money. So use whatever metal um, coin that you have in your currency. Here's an empty bowl. And the reason why we have an empty bowl is that when you um, dispose of the ingredients after the offering, you want to dispose of it in a body of water. So this is going to be my body of water. And then also I have a clay um, container here of water. It's hard to see the water. Maybe you can see it uh, move a little bit as I tap it. So these are all the ingredients that you really need. Um, you can use incense if you wanted to use incense or if you want to light a candle, you can do that as well. But typically, uh, those are optional, and you don't have to have them in order to perform tarpana. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is to take this coin, and the coin you want to place in the palm of your hand, like so, okay? The next thing you want to do is you take your ingredients, which is the uh, raw rice that I have here, darba grass and black sesame, and you put some in your hand in the palm, right above, right on top of the coin. Oops, you see a little bit of it spilling out. Now you don't have to have a lot, you know, it's not about, um, you know, giving them a lot of, of, uh, of this mix. This is just perfectly fine, okay? You wanna make it a little bit larger in your palm, you can do that, you could put, excuse me, a little bit more, that kind of thing. Okay, actually I have a lot of darba grass here, so I just kind of put some in the container. There we go. Okay, and so when you're doing this, you want to make sure you're facing the south direction. Uh, before I get started, I want to make sure that I take a little bit of water and dabble some water on top of the mixture in my hand. Okay, so when you do this, you want to hold your palm out. You can do the standing up or sitting down, it's up to you. And basically what you begin with is, I call upon my ancestors on my father's side, come eat and go into the light. And I call upon my ancestors on my mother's side, come eat and go into the light. And usually what I like to add in terms of this prayer is be in the light, be in the loving embrace of God, um, be in his compassion and his love, his unconditional love, be the beings that God intended you to be and that he wants you to be. And so that's basically it for the prayer. Oh, and don't forget to bless me. That's the other thing that you want to say. And don't forget to bless me. When you're in the light, don't forget to bless me. And now I'm gonna take the water. And I take this water and I pour it into my palm so that the concoction goes into the body of water. Now, you can take the coin out and use it again. When you do tarpanam again, no need to you know, give up all your money. <laughs> and um, that's it, basically. So what do you do with this afterwards? Now. For some people, you can take this and pour this down the toilet because the offering has already been done. It's done, um, so you don't have to worry about it. Or you would go outside and find, I guess, some other location to put it out in nature, um, another body of water, perhaps. Okay, 
So that's basically how you do turkey on. That's it. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe because I post a new video uh, every week, usually at the beginning of the week. And, um, you know, to learn, so, to help you guys learn more topics and more things that you can do, whether it's meditations, mantras, techniques to help improve your life. All right, namaste.